Hey you guys, this is Nathan back with another video. Today I'm going to share with you how to edit multiple images at the same time and how to get a few extra features. Here's some tips to help you with that. So first what we're going to do is we're just going to open up a new project in Photoscape X and we're going to want to add in multiple images, multiple items into this project and there's some tools that aren't right at your fingertips but there's some workarounds to make it work hopefully they'll add them in a future update so let's take a look at this we're going to uh, drop some images in now you would think oh I can just drag them right in but unfortunately that's not the case you need to be in the editor tab sorry right up here on the top left hand side make sure you're in the editor and then over here on the right hand side you've got the edit tab color film light frame insert tools Go to insert, click on that. It opens up this carousel of different tools inside of insert. But when you have that insert tab selected, then you can drag and drop your images in. You can do it from, you know, file explorer or, you know, your Mac explorer or just over here from some thumbnails here on the side. So, you know, you drop your image in and maybe you want to drop multiple images in. That's totally fine. Get some images dropped in there and you're off to the races. Now the question that I received that kind of sparked this video idea was simply like, hey, if I'm trying to uh, drop some images in here, um, a problem that happens is you don't have all the features that you would normally have in the edit tab. Because if you try to go back to the edit tab in here, it treats this entire project like it's just one image. You just can't make the adjustments that you're wanting. But if you go over here to the insert tab, yes, you're able to make these adjustments, move the items around and adjust the size and everything like that. And then over here on the right hand side, you have all your different tools at your disposal that are able to be applied to whatever you're selecting. So let's say if I select uh, this image here and I'll close this up so I can be a little bigger for you guys. I can go over here and I can say, hey, I want to go to color. I want to click in here. And I want to brighten this image up and I want to increase the contrast. And I want to do that because that makes the image looks better um, to my liking. So you can do that and make that uh, edit that adjustment just like if you were in your normal color tab. But this one you're able to do for just that one image in your multiple images that you're working with. So that's nice in Photoscape X that you have these. And there's some other ones here. There's like mask. You can mask out certain sections of your image and they will be removed. So that's really nice. So then you have the background showing through. So that's cool. Um, you're able to change up like the blend mode and there's different stuff in here. You can do some things like a circle or like an ellipse or do some different shapes in here. Um, and there's, of course, things like outline and drop shadow and some really fun things in here. Now, uh, it's something to definitely mess around with. There's a lot of tools in here, adding some stickers, adding text is a whole thing and I've made an entire video about that. There's different shapes. There's a magnifying glass, which is kind of cool as well. Um, so there's a lot you can mess with. But what I want to stress here is that if there's a tool or a project uh, that you're working on and you're just like, okay, I want to do something special with this image here, but the problem is Photoscape X does not allow me to edit this image as well as I would like it to. So sometimes you would think, hey, maybe I'll just pull it back to the editor, but the editor is already filled up with... Uh, this project that you're working on you're like well I can't edit here and I can't edit over there I guess I'm just stuck and I can't do it what I do whenever I run into those situations when things get a little complicated is what I do is I just go down here and I right click on Photoscape X and I go to open an another Photoscape X so it opens a second one so you open this second Photoscape X you go into your editor and you find the image that you're working on and that you're wanting to make the adjustment to. In there, there you're able to crop it to your liking. So like a one-to-one -one crop and get it just to where you want it to be or 
whatever kind of adjustment you want to make because yeah you don't have the full suite of like effects and things like that like if you wanted to do this interesting triangle effect which looks really neat especially on like architecture type stuff but of course you don't have the full abilities that you would have if you were just in the insert tab but what you can do is you can take this adjustment this edit that you've done in your second photoscape x tab right click on here hit copy to clipboard so that copies it then you're able to go over here back to your other photoscape x right click and hit paste you hit paste and then it pastes it right into your project just like you want it now you can then remove this or do whatever else you want to do with it but then you have your image edited the way that you like and you're able to paste it right in without having to abandon your project save it as a project file or anything like that but you're able to then have those adjustments uh, that you want without having to mess around with it now this is kind of annoying and i wish you could do more of these edits just simply in here be able to click here and have the full editing suite open up for you but right now photoscape x does not allow that but this is the workaround and it's actually not too bad just opening a second one most computers can handle it really easily it's not going to bog your system down too much i don't believe but definitely let me know if this was helpful for you guys and if you have any other specific questions about editing in multiple images in the insert tab definitely let me know it's a great thing to be able to mess around with especially if you want to have a lot of flexibility in your creative process so you guys thank you so much for watching remember to like this video if it was helpful and leave a comment if you have any other questions or anything else you'd like to share thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye